back to Next TV. Today it's Strictly Special Part 2. So today we are going to be talking about our Strictly board. So this is our Strictly board. It's still a work in progress. There's still a couple of like glitter and bits of tape to go on to make it like more pretty. <laughs> and don't worry, we are going to be using eco-friendly glitter because we have found some and hopefully we should be using it. So here we're going to start to talk about our Strictly stars. Okay, now let's talk about Alex Scott and Neil Jones. Now, I think personally they were actually pretty good. So here we have Mike and he was partnered with Katia. Now I've got to say his cowboy dance was pretty cool <laughs> considering he's only like a sports presenter. And he did some pretty scary lifts like I honestly thought that Katia was going to get dropped and it'd be the end of her life. Because he's tiny. Well, talking about lifts, you've got Will over here. He was pretty good considering he's like disabled. He did some good lifts and tricks as well, which I thought were pretty good. Okay, now let's talk about Annika Rice. Her hair and her dresses and all the glitter and gems, she was like, she looked really nice and... I've got to say, round of applause for the uh, hair, makeup and costume because it was like full of glitter and she looked really pretty and completely different to what you would expect her to look like. Okay, now let's talk about Catherine and Johannes. Now, honestly, I think they were alright. Like, she was doing some good little shimmies and she was twerking a bit. I thought it was pretty good. And obviously, she wasn't as good as Johannes, because obviously he's a professional and she's just a celebrity. But I think they were actually pretty good. Now, who else is there? Oh yeah, Saffron Barker and AJ. I don't think they were as good as last week. Don't know why, but they were still good. Right, I still think they were really good. My other favourite for the week was Deb and Diane. Their quick step we think it's quick step don't judge me on that was actually pretty good now let's talk about michelle and giovanni our italian pair so i don't know why but even when michelle was like doing a more elegant dance she was still powerful and graceful and was really good like really good okay okay oh my gosh guys karim you wouldn't have thought he'd be like that elegant, graceful ballroom guy. You'd think he'd be more into like the Latin and stuff. But he's actually really good at like ballroom and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Got to admit, he has to be good since he's had like West End experiences. He's been in like Lion King and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool too. Who else is there? Okay, right. So this board is nice and pretty it's gonna look better but this pyramid kind of in not an exact order but like kind of a bit of my personal opinion on how they are but i am afraid to say that these two gentlemen were in the dance off so as you all know they weren't the best of dancers but it, it is pretty sad that somebody did have to leave the strictly ballroom so soon in the competition and i wish they could just got a bit further like i know they weren't the best of dancers but it's kind of like cutting their experience like right back so they don't even get to progress to movie week like it's movie week it's like one of the best weeks like who doesn't want to be in movie week okay it is now the job of me to use my special red pen now this is a very scary red pen as soon as this touches them they are out and they are not on the strictly board so i am afraid to say that james and luba are out so That is it for the red pen duty. It is now going back 
in its secret place. That was a great episode of Strictly and lots of good dances. So that's all I have to say for this episode. See you next time. Bye.